What's the next position? I don't know about which one I want to upload first. I'm going to upload, you know, the console war video or I'm going to upload these two videos. Um, but I'm making two videos. One saying five reasons console gaming is better than PC gaming. And another one is five reasons why um, PC gaming is better than console gaming. So I'm going to start out with console gaming better than PC gaming. Because I feel like a lot of you guys are console gamers. So I wanted to get this one out the way. So I have a list right here. It's five reasons. Um, and it's going to probably be really quick. But we're going to pretty much explain every single one of them. Um, but let me go ahead and move everything to the side. So I can kind of like snap it to make my life a lot easier making this video. Um, but let me just do that real quick. All right, so number one is games are optimized for controllers. Um, what they're pretty much saying is, you know how we own the consoles. Consoles have controllers, which make games easier to play. I know a lot of people who hate using mouse and keyboard playing video games. Me personally, I hated it when I first got the PC. I built my PC game. I was playing a couple games. I didn't really like it, like H1Z1. I didn't like the fours because it was just so weird using W, A, D, and S to move around. But then I got used to it. I realized, you know, that's PC. That's the way it's standard right now, and so that's the way I have to play. Um, but PC, you can use a controller, but it only works for certain games. Number two is consoles are built for relaxing. That is 100 percent true now for me you guys don't record so i sit at a desk and actually record my ps4 but it's still relaxing when i'm not actually recording i'm just sitting back playing grand theft auto or you know destiny or something like that i'm not really worrying about you know typing like i feel like it takes more work typing and moving the mouse and everything like that you, you know if you, you gotta have a good mouse i have the razor naga so like I like the way that mouse feels, but some people can't afford or get that mouse, so it's not like, you know, your hand could hurt. You can't really, you know, control is more as me chilling than me want to sit at my desk and look at my computer screen all the time. Number three is console gaming equals easy online multiplayer. This is 100% true because it's so easy to hop into a multiplayer game on the console than it is PC. Uh, you got to do all this stuff. You got to sign in, and, you know, depending on what thing you can use you play you can use steam you got to sign to all these things and by the time you do that then you're online well console you just load the game up go to multiplayer and you're in in seconds like i got in last of us like in 30 seconds one time from the time i actually hit last of us to actually playing that was already up and going so you don't have to really have, have to worry about that um and everything like that now number four is true in a way that it's not true that is only on consoles because now steam actually does it if you have steam up um, but it's the automatic updates. So it's pretty much saying like if you put in sleep mode or something like that, you can update your PS4 or it will do it by itself um, while you're playing it. So you don't really have to really worry about it. But if you have Steam open, um, you, it downloads by itself. Like if it's noticed to have an update, Steam will download your game update for you so you don't have to worry about it. Um, with PS4, it's still the same way. If you don't have your PS4 on or your Xbox One, it's not going to update unless you have it in standby mode. It's kind of like minimizing Steam. It's still in basically standby mode so number four really didn't really get me because it kind of can work both ways and number five is two words console exclusive this is a hundred percent true and i think this is why consoles will never die and if they do die it's because sony and microsoft just gave up on the thing and they started doing streaming games instead of like physically buying like playstation now could be a thing in the future when the internet is perfect for everyone i think streaming will like streaming your games like netflix and stuff will be a thing um but console exclusive why do I buy a PS4? Uncharted. Why I buy a PS4? You never know, Crash could come. Exclusives make me buy a console. A lot of people probably went out and bought a PS4 because of Bloodborne. A lot of people probably bought Xbox because of Halo, Gears of Wars. You know, so many exclusives that you can't get on the PC that you're going to buy. Most people buy Wii or a Nintendo console. It's strictly for Mario. You never know. Super Smash Bros. I bought a Vita because... It was on PlayStation. You see what I'm saying? Like, the stuff that you get on PlayStation, you can't get anywhere else. I don't even think Sword Art Online is on any other console than the Vita. So, let me know down below what you guys think. Do you guys think console is better than PC? Let me know what... Let me know why you think console is better than PC. Or if you think PC is better than console, let me know down below why you think PC is better than console. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. I have a link down below so you guys check this article out. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitch and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.